Science 6, Quarter 2, Week 1, Milk Base. Let's learn about different organs of the body parts and functions of musculoskeletal system. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Prell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Science 6, we will discuss about different organs of the body parts and function of musculoskeletal system. We are now in Quarter 2, Week 1. For most essential learning competencies, explain how the organs of each organ system work together. The skeletal system is the framework of the body. It is composed of bones, bone marrow, joints, cartilage, and ligaments. The bones support and give shape to the body. The bone marrow produces red blood cells. The joint is a place where two bones meet. The cartilage covers the bones with a fluid to make the movement easier. Ligaments are connective tissues that holds the joints together. Here are the parts of the skeletal system. Let's study the upper part of the skeletal system. Cranium Face These are parts of the skull. Clavicle Collarbone Scapula Sternum Ribs Humerus or funny bone Vertebrae now, let's study the lower part of the skeletal system. Coxal bone or hip. Ulna. Radius. Carpal bones or wrist. Metacarpal bones. Phalanges or fingers. Pimer. Patella or kneecap. Tibia. Fibula. Tarsal bones or ankle Metatarsal bones The musculoskeletal system is like a frame. It gives your body shape and support. It supports your body as you move. Some bones protect some vital parts or internal organs of your body. Some bones enable the body to make different movement. The bones in the head the bone forming the head is the skull or cranium. It is like a built-in helmet is made up of eight bones that have grown together. You have about 206 bones in your body. As a baby, you had more than 300 bones. The skull protects the brain. It is hard and strong but it can be cracked if it receives a severe blow. The jaw bones support the teeth and gums, enabling us to bite and chew our food. The back bones or the spinal column holds your head and body straight. It consists of 26 separate bones called vertebrae, with these made of cartilage. The cartilage prevents these bones from hitting each other when you move. The vertebrae protects the spinal cord. There are 7 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 1 sacrum, and 1 coccyx vertebrae. If you look closely at one vertebra, you will see a hole in its center through which the spinal cord passes. The vertebrae are separated by cartilage which prevents these bones from hitting each other when you move. The backbone protects the spinal cord. Your backbone is your main support. 
The vertebrae in your backbone let you move in different ways. The skeletal system serves many important functions. It provides the shape and form for the body, support and protection, allows bodily movement, produces blood for the body, and stores minerals. The number of bones in the human skeletal system is a controversial topic. Humans are born with over 300 bones. However, many bones fuse together between birth and maturity. As a result, an average adult skeleton consists of 206 bones. The number of bones varies according to the method used to derive the count. While some consider certain structures to be a single bone with multiple parts, Others may see it as a single part with multiple bones. There are five general classification of bones. These are long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, and sesamoid bones. The human skeleton is composed of both fused and individual bones supported by ligaments, tendons, muscles, and cartilage. It is a complex structure with two distinct divisions, the axial skeleton, which includes the vertebral column, and the appendicular skeleton. And now, let's proceed to learning task 1. As you start exploring the subject, answer the following questions. Write your answers on your answer sheet. This is a crossword puzzle. Let us find first those words across. Number 2. Filters and eliminates liquid wastes, regulates water balance. This is urinary. Number 3. Enables gas exchange with the blood. This is respiratory. Number five, enables movement, maintains posture, and can store energy. This word is muscular. Nine, senses external environment and communities with and activates other parts of the body. This part is nervous. Number ten, Produces gametes and supports development. This word is reproductive. Now, let's answer those words down. Those words are Number 1. Allows ingestion and breaks down food so that nutrients can be absorbed. This is digestive. Number 4. Provides mechanical support stores minerals and produces red blood cells. This is skeletal. Number six, protects the body's internal environment and stores fat. This is integumentary. Number seven, enables the transport of nutrients, gases, and wastes to and from cells. This is cardiovascular. And number eight, secretes hormones into the bloodstream for regulation of cellular activities. This is endocrine. Learning task two. Use the word below to identify parts of the skeleton. Write your answers on your answer sheet. So let us find the word in the bone vocabulary to identify parts of the skeleton. So this is the human skeleton. Each bone in our bodies has a name. There are more than 200 bones in our bodies. For letter A, this part is called clavicle or collar bone. Letter B, this part is called Humerus or upper arm bone. Letter C. This part is called radius. Letter D. This part is called ulna. 
Letter E. This part is called femur or upper leg bone. Letter F. This part is called patella or kneecap. Letter G. This part is called tibia. Letter H. This part is called fibula. Letter I. This part is called metatarsals or foot bones. Letter J. This part is called skull. Letter K. This part is called shoulder joint. Letter L. This part is called rib cage. Letter M. This part is called spine. Letter N. This part is called pelvis. And for letter O, this part is called metacarpals or hand bones. And for learning task 3, match the parts of the skeletal system in column A with the functions in column B. Write your answers on your answer sheet. Number 1. Skull The correct answer is Letter C a rigid case that protects the brain. Number two, spinal column. The correct answer is letter B, protects the spinal cord. Number three, bones. The correct answer is letter A, the inner layer of the bone that contains yellowish substance which manufacture blood cells in the body. Number 4. Hinge joint. The correct answer is letter E. Allows movement in one direction. Number 5. Ball and socket. The correct answer is letter D. Allows movement in all direction. Remember, the skeletal system is the framework of the body. It is composed of Bones, bone marrow, joints, cartilage, and ligaments. The bones support and give shape to the body. The bone marrow produces red blood cells. The joint is a place where two bones meet. The cartilage covers the bones with a fluid to make the movement easier. And the ligaments are connective tissues that holds the joints together. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!